Okay, this is a screencast to help students to change their Ultranet password and their Ultranet secret questions. And students are required to change their password once every 12 months. So to do that, we first need to go to the Ultranet web address and bring up this Ultranet landing page. And then we bring our mouse down to the middle column here, down to the bottom button that says all other users. And we click on that and another screen will appear. That is the screen where we type in our username and our current password or the one that we're going to change. So we need to be very careful here putting in our username to make sure that we get it correct. Type it properly and then we type in our password, the current password that we're using. And then we need to tick this box here and click on the login button. That will bring up the screen that will allow us to change our password. We need to be ready with a new password and our password needs to be at least eight characters long. It needs to have capital letters, lowercase letters and numbers in it. So hopefully you've chosen your password and have that perhaps on a piece of paper. And then when we see this blue screen here, we know that the screen is about to load. Sometimes it takes a little while. And soon we'll see the screen where we can change our password. So it's loading now. We just need to wait for that grey screen to appear with the boxes in it where we can change our password and here it comes. So our username is already typed in at the top there we just need to click on the next one and we type in that same password we've just typed our current password making sure that we get that correct and then in the next box we get to type in our new password the one that we would like to have this year And then just to make sure that we get it correct, we need to type it again. And then we click on the submit button. And hopefully we will get this message that tells us that our password has been successfully changed. And then we can click on the OK button. And then we can wait 15 minutes and log into Ultranet with that new password. And if we want to, at the same time, we can also change our secret questions or our security questions and these are questions that help us to keep our password safe and we use these when we want to change our password to authenticate or tell the computer that we are who we say we are. So if we click on this button on the bottom left screen here where it says maintain security questions it brings up three sets of questions and you can choose a question and put in your secret answer to that question. So the ones that I put in here are of course not going to be real, they're going to be pretend because I don't want to record somebody's real answers. So I'm just going to put some pretend answers in here but this is where you would put your own answers to the question. So this question here is what kind of animal was your first pet? And I'm going to write a dinosaur. We'll pick the next question. What do you want to be when you grow up? I'm going to type in magician. And for the last question, what year was my dad born? I might pretend that he was born in 1901. Now your answers to these questions will be your real answers and you need to keep those a secret. The next section asks for a PIN number and it's a four digit number and there might be a PIN number that your school has decided to use or maybe you have a four digit number that you can use as your PIN number. So you type that in here and then this next box asks us to confirm that PIN number or type it again. So we'll do that and we don't need to put anything in the email address so we just go down to the submit button and again hope that that was successful. And this message says that our secret questions have and answers have been successfully changed. So we have finished that process. So we've done everything we need to do to change our Ultranet password. 
and our Ultranet secret questions. And all we need to do now is log out. And when we move to the top of the screen, you will see a log out button next to where your name is listed. So you just click the log out button and you are finished. And after 15 minutes or so, you'll be able to log into Ultranet with your new password.